So, button, pressure plate, opens up, I go up here. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video and another Ender Adventure! And I just accidentally took down my torch. Again with the skeleton shooting arrows at me. What is up with that? Um, yeah, I'll just head on inside. Um, so yeah, I am back in Ender Adventures after... So, it's only been a week, but it's felt like such a long time since, the la since I did the last Ender Adventures episode. And so a lot has happened since then. I've been preparing. Um, the first thing you'll notice is this giant deadly pit in the ground. It leaves me usually with one to two hearts when I fall down there. Like I'm, I'm walking back. Ah! See what I mean? Hi. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> so... Um, I'll be like walking backwards to admire my work and then I just drop down into that pit um, I do have a, a bunch of furnaces out and so I've decided this is going to be like my furnace slash chest room um, right, These are going to be organized right now. I've just dumped everything into them So I have a project for today. Um, you may have noticed so I I've told you that I want to do something with this like I made a secret room up here and in previous episodes I've told you that I want to do something with that room and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a secret entrance to it and so yeah we'll see how that goes um I'm going to be doing some redstone, which I've I've just realized. So I do do a lot of redstone and command blocks and stuff in creative mode, but I don't think I've ever done any redstone in survival mode. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I've tried to make like secret doors in, in to our basements and stuff, but um, I've never actually done um, redstone in survival mode really, and I've also never done it on camera. So, um, I did prepare ahead of time. I have, like, everything I need right here in this chest. I also have so many torches, and I wasted about, like, a stack of coal on these, like, four stacks of torches. <laughs> so, yeah, this is everything I'm going to be using. It's, of course, redstone. I have some blocks of redstone. I have redstone repeaters, redstone torch, cobblestone, dirt, oak three oak pressure plates, oak button... Uh, sticky four sticky pistons four pistons and a painting so I'll be kind of teaching you how to do this it's basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so there's a pressure plate over there and when you step on and so you need to step on that pressure plate and then there's also going to be a button up here and then you also need to push that button and that's going to make some pistons extend right here raising this off of the ground so you can get in there and then I'm thinking that I'm going to have like a painting right here that you walk through but I want it to be like a big painting in like the middle of the wall so it's it's not as obvious so I have dug all this out and <gasps> who is this? It's a dog! This is my dog! I have been searching. I have been searching for wolves for such a long time. Um, I. This is only the fourth episode, but it's been like about two weeks now. <clears throat> and so, um. <clears throat> I. Every time I find a wolf, I don't have bones on me. So I go back to the house, and then I come back. The wolves are gone, and so it's got. It's been so annoying, but um, I finally have gotten a wolf. I've. I'm not actually sure what to name it, so um, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my Roblox group, and then you need to join the Roblox group and um, then tell me what you uh, tell me a suggestion for a name uh, for what I could name my dog 
and um, whichever name I like best, I will name it that. So, I have been talking about stuff for about five minutes now. Let's get to work on the redstone. So, um, I'm not sure how well I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to have to perform two flip-flops. <laughs> two flip-flop circuits, which um, I'll explain what that is in a second. But, um, so, the first pressure plate is going to be right here. And, um, I'll just... And so, when you... So, I have a bit of a problem. So... When so th here's where the flip flop comes in. So when you step on a pressure plate or push a button, um, it outputs a redstone signal. So like if I if I stand on that, you can just about see the redstone is on. But then when I step off of it, um, well, but then when something's not on it, the redstone turns off. And so you'll you'll have to like throw an item down onto the pressure plate or something. And so what the flip flop does is it makes it so when so even when you're not so when you step on the pressure plate once, it just stay the signal stays on. So what I'm going to do for this flip flop is I'm going to grab um, these pistons. I'm not sure if this is the correct way to do it. I know there's like a similar concept. And so I'm going to have this leading to this piston right here. And then I'm going to have these redstone, a redstone block right here. Then right here I'm going to have another piston. And keep in mind, these aren't sticky pistons. So the difference is with a sticky piston, it extends when you, they get the redstone signal. And then when it sucks itself back in, it takes the block with it. But the normal piston, it extends it, and then when it gets sucked back in, the block stays where it is. So, then if I go and put some redstone here, and then now if I go back up, basically what this is going to do, don't fall in the pit again, um, if I step on this pressure plate, it pushes the piston, moving this redstone block, which then constantly powers this up and then to turn it off I'm going to eventually have some I'm going to have like pressure plates or something that leads to this piston pushing it back over here turning off the redstone so <laughs> pr pretty simple maybe um, I just realized that I have this way too far forwards so um, by the way you need um, at least a you need a Iron pickaxe or better to mine redstone blocks. Just in case you were wondering. Um, <clears throat> so there we go. This should all be working. And then I'm just going to leave this for now because we need to go and make another flip flop. Um, and this also works for a button. Um, this circuit doesn't work for levers because the lever has, like, the flip-flop built in to it. By the way, flip-flop is its actual name. Look at that. You can barely even see the button. <laughs> um, by the way, this uh, I did test this out ahead of time. And, um, I do have all the stuff, and uh, this is supposed to work okay. So this button, you press it, the redstone comes down this way. I should probably put... A torch in here because I don't want any monsters spawning and then this goes down that way I cannot fit through that tiny hole um, there we go and now if I okay so now I need to go and make another flip-flop like it's basically the same Thing. I mean, it is the same thing, except just with a button. So now, <clears throat> um, I'll have this redstone leading this way. And then, this, what I'm, what I'm gonna do now, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's like a redstone gate or something. I don't know. But, basically, what it's going to do is, um, it's going to make it so once you push the button and stand on the pressure plate, then this other signal is going to pass through. And so let me actually just real quickly check that I don't need any repeaters. Um, 
So I press that, I push that, and then all, okay, so all the redstone is linking up here. So, um, now I'm going to do three blocks like this, and then I'm going to grab my redstone torches right here, and I'm going to put one here and one here, and you'll notice that, so when redstone goes into the block that a, um, redstone torch is on, that actually turns off the redstone torch. So then if I put some redstone dust in here, in between them, so, um, what that's going to do is when both of these torches are turned off, so if only, if, if even one of the torches is turned on, this redstone is going to go, and so once both of them go, this redstone turns off, and then this torch on the back, once this redstone is off, this is, this torch is going to turn on, and so... Then we're going to have this redstone trail leading this way. And then I'm going to, um, so I'm going to have pistons here. And so I'm going to elevate the redstone right now. <clears throat> and so I'll just put, uh, I don't actually need that block there. So... Now this should all be going, and then th I need to put the pistons in right there. So let me just come up here, and then I'm going to need to break the floor. Ha ha ha. I will put the floor back, I just need to break it for now, just so I can put the pistons in. So this time I'm going to use sticky pistons, because once the floor gets elevated- Oh, that just jumped me! <laughs> All right, there we go. And now, um, if I can get this pattern right again, I think that was the oak there and then spruce there. So now this is getting elevated leading up here. And then if I quickly go and reset this circuit, um, I will make it so it turns off without you having to come down here and replace everything. <laughs> Why was that still going? Oh, because this was looking up. Um, just in case that's going to interfere with anything, which I doubt it will. But, um, oh wait, I think it would eventually. So, uh, I'll just do that so it, it doesn't interfere. So, let me just put, replace this redstone block there. And put this one there, and then these two redstone torches are on, turning this one off, putting the pistons down, and then if I go up, the floor should be back to normal. Ta-da! So now if I go and push this button, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, and then I step on this pressure plate, then the floor rises up, yay! Whew! It took me about half an hour to figure this out ahead of time. I am pretty good at redstone. I knew what I was doing. It was just like I had kind of a small space. And it was kind of annoying to have this big pit in the floor because I couldn't put redstone in there. So I was just, tr it was mainly just working with the space that I had. So now if I put some pressure plates here and then I have redstone dust here. When you So what I'm going to do now is when you walk in, this redstone is going to lead down here. And then when you step on the pressure plates, um, that's going to turn off the um, flip-flops. So let me just put in all of this redstone. I went on a major mining spree. <laughs> um, so now I need it to go that way, but I am going to have to put in several repeaters just so it can keep the signal going. And oh wait, that's going to the wrong piston, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so, looks like you're gonna have to see me do a bit of digging. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you.
yeah, this should work. Um, I'll just put in some repeaters now. Put one here. So basically what this does is um, when the redstone signal runs out, um, the redstone repeater basically makes it so it keeps going, gives it a fresh signal. Uh, why is that gone? All right, let's see if this all works now. Um, let me just reset this circuit. Um, then I can go on up and then put in the painting. I need to remember to do that. Um, there's a specific painting I want to do. It's like a pig. It's like a girl with a pig. So let's see if I can get that painting. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to pile up for now just because I don't want to spoil this. Um, darn it. Uh, let me just, uh, no, this, no, 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 <laughs> but I, I am gonna, yeah, there we go. Okay, um, so let's see if this works. It's probably not going to work, so, button, pressure plate, opens up, I go up here. Okay, what is the problem here? Um, let me just grab a redstone torch. Or, no, I'll grab a lever just so I can keep the redstone trail going because I'm pretty sure that this has something to do with um, not enough repeaters. So the redstone... Oh, the repeater wasn't close enough. Okay, so it needs to go here. And then that gives the signal... All right, there we go. That should work now. Um, let me just make sure that this is all going okay. Yeah. So, take two. <laughs> I knew that it wasn't gonna go right when <clears throat> um, I threw the pa when the painting dropped up there, and um, it didn't. And I didn't hear any um, pistons move. <clears throat> all right. So let's see. I push, uh, well, let's do it in a different, different order now. So, pressure pad, or pressure plate, um, button, makes the floor rise up, I go in, I step on the pressure plates, and the floor is gone! Yes, it worked! Okay, I, I did this in a video. Alright, this, I'm kind of surprised that this worked, um, so yeah, behind the scenes, I'm going to kind of cover all this up, um, get it all working, and then, yeah, you, you, this is, this is pretty good. Like, if you saw, if you saw this big painting right here, and I hadn't told you anything about this secret passageway, would you think that's just a decoration, or would you think that it's a secret passageway? I thought so. You would think it was. You would not think it's secret passageway. Be honest. <laughs> um, I mean, you can't even really see that painting up there. But yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna have in that room. But um, that is sadly the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye.